Let's go, baby. Hi, everybody, everyone. This is um. Thank you. I appreciate all of uh, but uh, this is not my day. This is not my day. This is not about me. This is about these fine individuals right here. So we need to keep the focus on the stars of the show. Amen. Right. But thank you. I love you. Round of applause for Monty Barry. Let's go, thank you. I just gotta take a picture of my shoes right there. Hold on. I feel like I'm with the Lenny Gala. Yo, yo. <laughs> so listen, check this out. This is an amazing thing. This man right here, he's like a brother to me, a big brother. So, short story. The well and myself, we were at ours. I never seen him, he never seen me. But we had different crews. We was all with the coalition. I was with Queen's Community. He was with Fight Back. He was a strong guy. You know, he had a rep. He was an OG. And so, you know, we crossed paths. It wasn't nice. It was a lot of things going on. But what I like about this whole this man right here, right? So let's fast, let's let's fast forward like a year later, 1993. I was having my first amateur um, Golden Gloves. So Zab was fighting. I brought um some rap groups along, whatever. We was having some fun in a piece of real. So they come, they come in your well with their arm, looking at me like. So he pulls us out. Yo, this what you do? I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm nervous, because you know, the thing with your well, the rumor is if you see your well, Judah, he come hands, reach, said, shoot first, ask questions later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because that's how he get down, right? So he, that, he's the Steven Seagal of Brooklyn. It breaks you up real quick. So I was like, so he had, <laughs> that was an oh, you well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But your OG, I got mad love for him. So boom, so we just bonded. We had sit down, we talked. But a lot, a lot of, you know, behind the scenes, him talking to me as a man, as a big brother, inspiring me, showing me the way. We had talks on the stairs at many nights. You know? Just call me your big brother, I need some advice, I need some, uh, somebody to talk to, him breaking down. And you know, he's an Israelite, I'm a Christian, but we still brothers, right? So boom, he kind of took me in, he said, well, I, like, I like the way you move, I like what you're doing, I want you to take an eye, keep an eye on my son. And that's how we all got tight, you know, we all became family. See, used to stay at my house, Danielle, Dad, Dad was scared of the dog. <laughs> but yo, we all had fun. I didn't get a chance to, for Ariel, because Ariel was bliss. He was like, boom, 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 he's all over the world. <laughs> but you know, you know, it's all love, man. We all, we all family. But I, I really appreciate those moments that people don't know about. You know, he trained me too. He got me nice about, I don't know what, man. I was knocking everybody out in the gym, you know. And we had a couple of fights. We had a couple of um, moments. And um, you've been a big brother to me. I love you, brother. You know how I feel. And I'm going to get you that banana pudding because I know how you feel about that banana pudding. But I just want to say, like, this is a man of honor. This is the man of dignity. He cares. You know what I'm saying? And whoever he was then, it don't make the difference as who he is now. You know what I'm saying? He's a helper. You know what I'm saying? He's an inspirational. He's a motivator. He's a, a supporter. And uh, they don't make him like this no more. You know, this is a different call for here, brother. I want to say I love you.